All right, guys. In this video, I want to do a uh, cinematic 21 by 9 mode. Uh, this is 60 frames per second. Uh, I just want to test and see how well the motion runs on this uh, camera when I'm capturing something as fast as this, like this game. Let's see. So, uh, you might see some black bars because it's 21 by 9. You might see those black bars running, but I'm doing that purposely because I just want to see how well it runs. Remember, this is just a test. I'm just testing this game. I just want to see how this camera runs. What I mean by testing this game, I mean testing the camera with this game together. So, that's what I'm trying to do. You know. There's many different like wide viewer angles. You can choose between uh, one angle or wider angle. Like if you want to get the wider angle, you can do that, or you can just switch it back to uh, uh, one angle ratio. I mean, it has a lot of cool features. You know, there's so much stuff for me to do here on this camera. Honestly, uh, I could spend days and days just like. Uh, messing with uh with this camera there's so many options here that you can choose uh you do have the automatic options if you want to choose something automatically but i like the feature that that it has here that you can kind of like customize it yourself and trying to find the best suitable uh contrast and brightness on this camera and runs i mean it's pretty fast All right, let's switch to something else. Let's uh, let's exit out of here. Uh, now I have my NIST a little bit higher here, so that's why you're seeing that. Let's go to a uh, Final Fantasy really quick. Yes, I can see uh, these NITs. I can I can adjust them. I can bring them down. <clears throat> I mean the contrast and uh, brightness ratio. They use the word NITs because there is this the brightness ratio. That's what it is. All right. What's the peak brightness that you can get? So I'll leave it at 800 right here. See, this is much better. And the, the main purpose, I'm using one hand like this and I'm doing this because I want to see just like uh, how fast and the, how fast and fluid the motion is on this uh, camera. And the motion, it's very fluid. As you can see right now, this will probably make you sick, you know, but because of uh, the motion. But the motion is pretty good, man. The 60 frames per second, 21 by uh, 9. And you'll see those black bars running across here. Okay, let's load the game really quick. You see how I just adjusted the brightness there. You can also adjust the color if you want. You can choose from warm to cold but they measure it by uh, certain numbers like uh, actually there's a little temperature right here like let you know like see right now I'm changing the color now it's too warm it's becoming to be warm now bringing it to 4000 now this is where I think it should be at the 4000 right here so I left it this is the balance one 4000 K this is where you want it to be to get that natural feel and look to it all right and I'm also recording this in a very uh, high-end, high five audio. Like you have to switch high five audio on uh, microphone. This is this is one of the best microphones that I have used on a camera on, on a, a phone camera. Honestly, if you want to do a podcast with a LG V20, you should definitely buy LG V20. You can do a podcast easily with this phone. This one has even this application called uh, High Resolution Hi Fi Audio, uh, digital Hi Fi Audio app that lets you uh, adjust and edit your recordings. If you're recording a podcast, you can edit it. You can connect this to your uh, computer, hook it up to your video editing uh, software, and then you can do all sorts of things with this. Uh, phone especially for podcasts man this thing has one of the, the best uh microphones that i have used 
ever. And, and I'm sure you guys will agree just listening to my voice and just how well this sounds for a camera. So I will do an additional review of this uh, of this camera, you know, and of this phone. Uh, I want to spend some more time to give this phone a proper review. Uh, it's not going, the review is not going to happen maybe till like Friday, Friday night. I might do a review on this camera because I want to spend more time messing with it, you know. And see right here, see how well it looks? <sighs> Let me get closer. See, once you address the uh, brightness, contrast ratio, the focus, uh, it's it just the characters looks much better in the game. Let's get closer. And also you have to adjust your temperature. You know, so that way everything looks more natural. Here, we also got to adjust some uh, knit brightness here as well. See, now it's better. Now it looks more natural. And yes, it does have that wider angle. Like, see, when I zoom in, if I want to get that wider ratio, I just click the wider ratio. You see, now I'm getting the wider ratio. I want to get that one ratio for the cinematic 21 by 9. I switch back to it. There it is. So it has all of these cool features that I like uh, in the camera. And there's so much stuff. Uh, you can spend hours and hours tweaking this camera, man. Uh, I definitely need to, like, like do some filming outside, in, uh, you know, by the beach or in the, by the, in the nature, in the park or somewhere out there and test this camera just to see what it can do. I'll probably do that as well. That's why I need to spend some time with this camera and this phone and check all the features and then I'll give it a proper review. One thing I can tell you off the bat, this uh, L uh, LG V20 has one of the best speakers that I have heard on the phone, man. I was watching that one movie yesterday uh, on Netflix. It's a sci-fi movie, I think, uh, Spectral or something like that. It's, it's about these ghosts or, or these... Uh, entities they're fighting him in Europe it's, it's like it's ridiculous but it's like it's like a aliens you know uh marines like it has one of his that aliens feel to it. it's a pretty good movie man uh, I think it's called Spectre or Spectre or Sp something like that you know you'll see it it's like the original Netflix movie as soon as you click on the Netflix that's the first page you will see it's like it's their first motion picture movie with uh legendary pictures uh which is Warner Brothers Studios it's a pretty good movie man You'll see it. But anyway, I was watching that on this phone yesterday, and it just sounds fantastic, man. Like, the, the speakers are just mind-boggling. Yeah. They sound fantastic. All right, let's go over here. Okay, the sun's coming, so we'll de-address the, the brightness a little bit here. Okay, now peak brightness better here. Let's keep it like that. Like I said, it has a lot of cool features. This phone. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully uh, you like this video. Remember, this is just a test. I'm not testing my television here. I'm just testing the camera and this phone. Just to see how well it works on 60 frames per second. Alright, guys. Have a good one. Take care.